All right, good Tuesday morning, everyone. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to break down all of today's market action. And Jim, let's start with Amazon hitting $1,000 a share. Well, look, I mean, I think that these are things that people are going to say, well, wait a second, uh, enough is enough. This has happened many times when Amazon hit 500, I remember it. Uh, I will say that um, Amazon split. Here's the key thing about Amazon. Uh, it has tremendous earnings momentum. So what happens is, is that people gravitate to what can do well at a period when it looks like Washington is deadlocked, at a period when it looks like the GDP is not growing, mm -hmm. and Amazon is growing in, in spite of that. So you can see the money going toward Amazon, a couple of the top NASDAQ stocks. Uh, it's significant from the point of view that there'll be people who say, enough is enough, I'm not one of them. All right, and Actual Earths Plus holding Alphabet is flirting with 1,000. Yeah, now Alphabet, I think that is people starting to recognize that Waymo uh, is for real. There was an evaluation of 70 billion for Waymo. Waymo is the self-driving car that is well in the lead. We do not have numbers uh, for how engagement, which is the key fact if you go to the de Department of, just Google California Department of Motor, Motor Vehicles, uh, driverless cars or engagement and disengagement. And you will see where Waymo is and why people are so excited about Waymo. Don't forget that Mark Fields lost his job in part because he had fallen behind uh, at Ford. Uh, that's one another reason why you're going to see a lot of people partner with Waymo. I happen to think that search is doing well. But again, there is a surge of money into the top 10 of NASDAQ. And I'm not overlooking that as being something that is worrisome if it continues, if only because it reminds us of other eras where we just had about 50 stocks doing well, the nifty 50. Bruce Kamich is, uh, and I were talking about this, Bruce Kamich is uh, acutely aware. He's a fabulous technician. Be, just be careful. It's the beginning of what I would say is too much of a bifurcated market. But I'm going to be working on this because there are other stocks that are doing well. But it's just something to keep an eye on when you have Amazon and Alphabet just continually going up along with NVIDIA and a couple of other names. All right, now Actual Earth Plus holding Apple is reportedly working on an artificial intelligence chip. Interesting. I mean, you would think that if that's the case, NVIDIA, which is by far the leader in artificial intelligence chips, would be down. But people are just saying, I guess there's either room for more or that Apple's too far away to impact NVIDIA. All right, a merger on this Tuesday, Ensco acquiring Atwood. Yeah, the only reason I think this is important, because it's a billion dollar deal and by, at a 25% premium, is because we've all been waiting for another round. For instance, we own a Schlumberger for Action Alerts, and it's been a disappointment. We sold some much higher, it's come back down. It is tempting to buy some more, but oil looks like it's headed to 45, that's my forecast. But Schlumberger, uh, you know, it had a big movement about Cameron. Uh, I, I need to see more consolidation in this business. Now, GE, if it you know, bought finished Baker Hughes, we thought that they would do some consolidating, but well, all that I can tell you is there's way too many companies in the oil service business. There's way too many oil companies, and they better start consolidating because oil is just is not profitable enough at $45. All right, let's talk about AutoZone downgraded at Webb Bush but upgraded at Goldman. Yeah, I think Goldman's going to have more sway. I mean, AutoZone uh, had a bad quarter. Uh, the new normal is, is that it looks like it's going to be minus for a while. I, I expected more from AutoZone. But one of the things that uh, there was a double uh, threat to AutoZone. One was the comp stores down, but the other was that Amazon is going to move aggressively in auto parts. I think people are feeling a little more, uh, 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 you know, a little, a little less gloomy about the idea that Amazon might move in, a little more positive. If that's the case, look at Snap-on. Snap-on is the stock we own for Action Alerts. It has been, it had a great quarter. The stock shot up to 170s, but it's been going down with AutoZone and O'Reilly. Uh, look for some stability in that name, perhaps. Uh, we've bought some down here. No need to buy more. Wedbush also downgrading Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, no, that's an interesting downgrade because what that's saying is is that neither Mercado, which is the company that is the uh, that's the insurgent. I remember we got the big corporate governance conference coming up on Monday, so I'm following all these insurgents. They have a plan. Uh, and Buffalo Wild Wings management has a plan, it's a proxy fight. But what the Wedbush note says is that it doesn't matter. Neither's that good. Uh, rather amazing, given the fact that uh, some of these restaurant chains are doing quite well. Uh, and, and I wouldn't, uh, you know, look at uh, Red Robin, uh, McDonald's, uh, Wendy's, um, restaurant brands. These are all doing quite well. So it's not like every restaurant's doing badly. Darden being the best example of just a stock that continues to levitate. So I think that there is a uh, hope for management to try to figure out Buffalo Wild Wings, and I am not as negative as that notice. All right, and then we talked about chips earlier, but on Mad Dash and Squawk in the Street, you talked about Micron. Yeah, now this is important. We'll probably let's, you know, look, Micron 
is the most controversial stock of the tech stocks that are going up because it makes a commodity chip. I've been saying the commodity DRAM chip and Flash are a little stronger than people expected. They have hurt a lot of the companies that buy. Uh, like HP, I talked about it last week, although I like HP. Uh, and I think that should be bought. But I w a lot Morgan Stanley thought that Mike run that it would be rolling over right now because there'd be more capacity coming on. It hasn't come on. And if you take a look, this call is igniting analog devices. It's igniting Texas Instruments. Uh, analog devices, they have nothing to do with each other, but the Micron is a key component of the SOX. And uh, the, the sense is, is that the semis have another leg here. Um, I wouldn't get in front of the semis on the short side. I do think analog is probably one of the cheaper ones. I like that. All right, and we'll end, Jim, as we always do, with earnings to watch, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and actual alerts name. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, it's kind of um, Fisher Cup bait. Uh, you know, Meg Whitman said last time, this will be the quarter. We're really organized. Uh, we really got it together. I don't know. We have a small position for action alerts. I very much want to see this stock move, or else uh, if it doesn't move, it's small, and maybe it's time to move on. Not sure yet. And what are you expecting from Palo Alto Networks? Well, Palo Alto, look, it's a very controversial group, this uh, cyber, cyber, uh, the cyber stocks have been un under a lot of pressure with the exception of Proofpoint. We have a ton of cybersecurity companies speaking at the uh, corporate governance conference on Monday. Uh, I think the group is uh, under pressure because there is so much competition and not enough orders. So I would say uh, Palo Alto, I like Proofpoint best. Proofpoint, we're going to hear from them at the conference, which is going to be a very good conference. Yeah. We are looking forward to that. And we also want to talk about your garden. We know you had a very busy weekend okay, gardening. Okay, so people are saying, what is that in the front of the garden? It is lavender. Uh, what are all the baskets for? They are for my tomatoes. Uh, I have to do that. Some people are going to say that the tomatoes are too close. Uh, let me tell you, I've had a good and prodigious uh, uh, harvest every year at that with that close nature because they do grow to the sky um, and as my fence deer proof we have a second fence nothing's ever totally deer proof but the deer do not like to get caught in a small enclosure which is my bet so I absolutely of course I'm worried I had a deer in my garden seven <laughs> years ago it is a major focus of me but the yellow and red and blue baskets from uh, by the Hampton Bays nursery which is fantastic I think are going to make it so my tomato crop will be a fantastic one but you always have to cross your fingers because any sort of storm late frost and my whole summer will be in jeopardy thank you we love when you post pictures of your garden oh, yeah. on Twitter yeah I was I was very um, muted this week I need a little Sun to come before we really start seeing something grow particularly my beans from seed well, summer is about to start. Yes, All right, Jim you. Kramer, thank you so much. And for more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.